I'm over explaining, aren't I? husband is doing a um, game for a con so if you hear him talking I'm sorry about that I am going to today um, start the Joyce Carol Oates masterclass I'm gonna try to do as much as I can but I also probably should edit a video so I guess we're gonna see um, I am just starting the introduction and yeah, so that's where that's at. And I've got the little booklet printed out. I did not print the front page because it was almost all black and uh, ink is, you know, not cheap. So that's what I did. I skipped that all black page. I got a notepad like it said to, and I'm going to get started. Okay, so I have done the introduction to the Joyce Carol Oates Art of Short Story Masterclass. I've read through the introduction in the workbook that was provided that I have printed as well. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little opening here. I fell in love with writing through short stories. Um, my first book out was my short story collection, Suggestion 376. Um, most of those short stories were actually written during my writing classes in college. I had two of them. So that's when I fell in love with short stories. I feel like short stories are my favorite, but I don't actually write short stories as often as I should. And because I don't really write them as often as I should, I've kind of lost touch with that. So I do think that this masterclass will kind of help me to move in the right direction with writing some short stories again. Um, hopefully that means that I can share some short stories on Patreon and my newsletter and things like that. Uh, but I'm not quite there yet. So I'm going to go ahead and watch another class, maybe two before I check back in. Looks like there's 14 sections. Yeah, and it calls the introduction number one. So there's 13 left. I'll do as many as I can and I'll check in pretty regularly. Okay, so I finished lesson one, which is chapter two, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, there's a bunch of exercises and those exercises are kind of involved and my cat is trying to put himself in a window that's not open. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my trusty workbook and sit outside on my front porch with my alpha smart and work on it because my carpal tunnel is acting up really bad and it's not typing that really bothers it it's the mouse and the pen my handwriting looks worse than usual so i'm not doing that that's just terrible so i'm going to go sweep off my stairs real quick so that there's somewhere for me to sit and then I'm gonna go outside and I'll probably check in with you on the other camera at that point. So I'm sitting out on my front porch and number one, I still have cat hair on my face. Uh, the wind's blowing and shit, like it's not still. It's beautiful out. It's actually a little warm for me. But there's also a guy down the street who's sitting on his porch and he keeps yelling. Oh, it looks like there might be people that he's talking to. Cause I thought he was just shouting and I was real troubled. And I was like, maybe I shouldn't sit out here if yelling guy is yelling. Totally unrelated, but that tree's still pretty. And most of them are pretty brown now, so. Look at it, look at its beauty. I'm about to start this exercise, but uh, there are Asian lady beetles, which look like ladybugs, but they are not ladybugs and they're dickheads. I finished chapter two of the Joyce Carol Oates masterclass and I am outside with my Alpha Smart working on working on actually writing. The workbook has like to write a character outline and then write a scene using that character outline but uh, as most of you know I'm a full-on discovery writer so character outlining really just isn't a thing like it kind of does it itself while I'm writing. I am basically combining those two things and writing a character outline by writing a scene. 
so that's going okay. I don't know that I can word count on this sucker because I don't remember if I got it updated or not. I mean, not that it fucking matters. Also, Mr. Crowley is losing his mind that I'm outside and I didn't bring him with me, but like he won't just sit here with me. So sorry, buddy. Okay, so it's 120. I'm back inside. Um, the Joyce Carol Oates, section two, the prompts, a couple of them I can't do because I don't have something already written. Um, so I am going to pop over and work on my video for today and then I'll see where I'm at at that point and maybe come back and do some more today. We will see. It's pretty early, so I probably can. Hey, so editing Sarah here. Because of how the assignments for the masterclass work, I'm going to go through the videos this week and then do some, some of the assignments and some of the other assignments I'm gonna have to kind of do over time. So I'll kind of keep you guys updated on where I am at those. I think what I'm gonna do is kind of put my goal to finish the assignments at the end of November. So I have some sort of end of November goal along with everybody else. Uh, so I think that's it, but thank you guys and uh, back to the regularly scheduled stupidness. I am working on my video. I'm almost done with the actual just cutting, so then I have a couple more steps. Travis is still on his game. He's having a way better time than I am. Um, there was some sort of minor domestic across the street, I guess, and the cops are like all over my neighborhood. So... That doesn't make me uncomfortable at all. The uh, temperature dipped a little bit and the sun is behind some clouds. So I'm starting to get that like little bit of crispness because we're in the middle of like a heat spell, I guess. I don't fucking know what you call it. Anyway, um, it's not really a heat wave though. Cause it's like 73, so, but, um, <clears throat> so it's cooled off just a little bit and then the crispness and then the smell of the leaves. I wish I could just like package the air from this time of year and like have it smell like the temperature and I don't even know how to explain it but I fucking love it so I'm gonna go back to editing my video and hope that the cops are gone for the day because uh I managed to not like freak out while they were here but they walked through my damn yard and shit so like I'm just gonna need you to not come back for a while maybe hello I am back so it's 7 20 ish on Sunday night uh, I have not gotten back into my master class because I did my video and that has only been live for a short time so I'm gonna probably do one more um, session for the masterclass and then I might stream some Sims over on my Wordsmith Simmer channel. Uh, so if you are unaware of that and you enjoy Sims, I'll put a link down below. I think it's in my link tree, but uh, it's Wordsmith Simmer, just like my Wordsmith Sarah everywhere else, but Simmer, like one who Sims. I'm over explaining, aren't I? I had some thoughts about the master class, but right now I don't feel like I can clearly explain them. So maybe I will try to explain them a little further in. So maybe I can put my finger on it more. It's not something I dislike necessarily. It's just something that stands out. Let's hope I can remember to actually figure out what it is. Okay, a little bit of a change of plan. Apparently there's gonna be a tail in the shot. So you're welcome. Um, move, Dreamer, come on. I'll just hold you, how about that? Does that work? So um, my husband is not leaving until after his stream, which has another hour. So I'm going to go ahead and work a little bit on Gryffindale, and then I'm going to go over and work on the master class so i just wanted to give you an update uh it's about 8 p.m i usually go to bed by midnight so yeah i mean it's not the end of the world if i don't whatever so so yeah that's where that's at also dreamer says hi she's purring very loudly but you cannot hear her because my mic is not that good i had to get a new mount for my car because the other one fell apart because they're from five below 
and uh, I kind of jacked myself up on the package. So that's exciting. Let me check my phone real quick because it just went off. All right, so we are off to my office, but because it's gonna be like a whole process, I might be able to do a couple words of writing or read through some of this stuff for the Joyce Carol Oates uh, thing. So I'm gonna try to do some of that. Happy Monday, I guess. Hello! So I just had an emergency run over to the vet because we ran out of cat food and Mr. Crowley thought we were purposely trying to abuse him. Okay, now it smells like booze in here. So I think that's enough sanitizer. It is Wednesday and I am off because it is Veterans Day, but um, I didn't get up till noon, so it's now two o'clock. So that's, that's where my life's at right now. We were out of Mr. Crowley's food and he thought we were purposely trying to starve him to death. But I mean, we are assholes, so I get why he thought that. So yeah, I'm on my way back with his prescription cat food that costs entirely too much. And then I have this generic cat food for the other cats. I think it's from Aldi. Um, they fucking hate it. I think I'm gonna put it outside for the fucking outside cats because ain't nobody else trying to eat this shit. Like none of them will eat it. Dreamer prefers hard food and she won't eat that shit. They tore down some buildings over here, like almost a whole block. It's fucking weird. They've been there since I was a kid. Like, I don't know, it's odd. We used to be a very factory centric city, um, but as factories have become less and less used especially like in the Midwest where people have to like get paid um those factories have kind of fallen under and stuff we used to be like the biggest screw producing city in America I think so they're tearing down a lot of the factories because ain't nobody going inside of them and now they're just like disintegrating in the communities and that's why my community is a little cheaper is because we're like near a bunch of factories. Um, there's other parts of town that have a similar issue and they're also cheaper, but uh, this is like near my family. So that's how we ended up in this neighborhood. So last night I did some Sims on my Wordsmith Simmer channel and drink some wine and that was pretty much it so i'm about to go to my office and then i'm gonna try to do some day job work and maybe take a lunch break and do the joyce carol oats next session or work on some of the exercises so uh yeah I'm much out the window now. Not a drug dealer phone, office phone for anyone. Anyone of the professional police persuasion who might be watching.
There you are. Look how cute you are. A little ball of woodpeckerness. He's so pretty. So crazy. Why are you crazy? Why are you crazy? Why are you like this? Are you jealous that your sister got a mouse? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry that you didn't get to catch it. chance. You saw took your prize, I know. Run, bitch. Just fucking wiggly ass eyes. Look at those eyes. Them crazy eyes. You got the, you got the crazy eyes. You got the, you got the crazy eyes. You tripping out. What the what? We're going to pretend that I'm recording me and see if I can get him to give me a meow. But I don't know. I think he can see himself on camera. This animal. Do, 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 Cry. 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 Meow. Look, he thinks I'm crazy. We are in need of some attention, and he just keeps yelling. But he won't yell when the camera's on him. That's how he do. Nobody knows how loud you meow, because you always pretend you don't meow. I love you too. He just wants to, like, be on me. He's my buddy. 
Speaking of rude, I'm trying to like get to my keyboard, but like this idiot and then this idiot. I'm over here just trying to like not fucking hit myself in the face with something and you're over there reading poetry and shit. I'm useless. Uh, yep. Also that dude right there, that's an asshole. The, the little one is not as bad right now, but. The gray one is an asshole. Crowley. See? Trying to make no- Oh, I got it. Who'd have thought for all these years none of us knew what our faces smelled like? It is Sunday afternoon. I just finished cutting most of the video. I haven't done any of the sound stuff yet, but um, I just wanted to update you guys. I did make it through section 10. Yes, 10 of the master class. The end of these sessions is probably going to be a little longer. It's going to take a little more time. They're a little more involved about editing and things like that. So I think I'm going to do some of the exercises up to now and then uh, watch those last couple master classes probably a couple of times between now and when I actually start working on those sessions. I do want to say that I don't know exactly what it is about this class that I was talking about earlier in the video. Uh, there is something about it that sparks something. It feels very comfortable to me. Um, I find her very welcoming. I find her very friendly. Um, so I think that's probably what it is. I'm really enjoying the exercises. They're not the kind of thing that I'm going to end up using for anything, probably because I write horror as a general rule and the exercises aren't really geared toward a particular genre. They're much more literary. So I may not use much of what I'm writing, but as much as I might not use some of what I'm writing, I am going to share some of it over on my Patreon because I know that I have kind of neglected giving a whole lot over to my Patreon, partly because I've been working on these bigger projects and those bigger projects don't have as much for me to share. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share some of these exercises. I'm going to be careful not to share too much because I don't want to share what's in the class. Uh, as much as just like what I'm taking away from it. So I'm trying to walk a fine line where I'm not like giving you guys the class without you taking the class, if that makes sense. That being said, I was wondering if any of you have taken this particular master class. I know some of my uh, friends on here have mentioned that you have masterclass subscriptions. So if you've taken this, let me know down below how you feel about it. If you haven't taken it, let me know what your thoughts are on Joyce Carol Oates, if you have any. Have you read anything of hers? Um, are you familiar with her work? I also wanted to just ask you guys a little bit about what you think about putting things like views on the world. Um, like Joyce Carol Oates uses a lot of feminist views and things like that in her writing. How do you guys feel about doing that? Do you think it's something you can even avoid if you deeply believe something? Do you think it's the kind of thing you should try desperately not to include? Or do you think it's important to have every part of you inform what you're writing. So I think that does it for today. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed that I'm doing something a little different this time around. I'm going to continue to tell you guys how I'm doing on these exercises on my Sunday videos, and I will see you guys on Fridays at 7 p.m. Central for my regular write-ins. Both of those are on this channel, so don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Down below is where I have my link tree, where I have my Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Snapchat, newsletter, the link to my Wordsmith Simmer YouTube channel where I play Sims, and yeah, just about anything you could possibly want for me has links down below. I also have links to some of my friends down below, so you should click on those links and check out their channels as well. A lot of them uh, have been on this channel various times, so check those out down below. Thank you guys again for being here, and I will see you guys all next week. Bye! Also down below is my link tree where I have my tit. Oh, I almost said titter.